You've heard of Princess Diana, and you've heard how she died. But what do you know about the photographers who chased her to her death? The eternal struggle between celebrities and paparazzi hit its lowest point on August 31, 1997. Princess Diana, a controversial figure since her divorce from Prince Charles, had just arrived in France with her partner, Dodi Fayed. The two were traveling home when their car crashed in Paris, fatally injuring all occupants in the vehicle, with the exception of the couple's bodyguard. I, for one, believe there are lessons to be drawn from her life and from the extraordinary and moving reaction to her death. The lead-up to the tragedy has been the subject of an enormous amount of skepticism over the years, as well as several conspiracy theories. The official explanation is that the car's driver, Henri Paul, was intoxicated, driving well above the speed limit to evade pursuing paparazzi when he lost control of the car. Yet while his blood alcohol level was found to be three times the legal limit to drive, some experts have cast doubt on the results, suggesting the tests were not administered properly. Nevertheless, the photographers involved proceeded to snap pictures of the tragedy, even though witnesses stated that Diana was reportedly still alive at the time. Ten photographers present at the crash were subsequently arrested by French authorities. As the couple had been stalked by many of the same individuals since arriving in France, it was argued that the paparazzi bore at least indirect responsibility in the deaths. However, difficulties arose after that, as none of the photographers admitted to being near the car the moment it crashed. Their defenses ranged from the driver bearing sole responsibility to other photographers having escaped before the arrival of police, individuals who would supposedly have borne greater responsibility had they been arrested. An optimistic prosecution, meanwhile, insisted that those most directly responsible for the crash could be identified for the jury. Nine of the paparazzi wound up charged with manslaughter, but these charges were dropped within a few years. Jacques Lanzavan, Christian Martinez, and Fabrice Chassery eventually faced invasion of privacy charges, but the three were acquitted in 2003, as the ruling deemed that a public highway is not considered a private area. Eventually, France's highest court sent the case to an appeals court, which ultimately ruled that each of the accused pay one euro to Mohamed Al-Fayed, the father of Dodi Fayed. During the investigations into Diana's death, Jacques Lanzavan and Christian Martinez had pointed the blame at Henri Paul for the accident. Lanzavan claimed that he spoke to other photographers who suggested Paul had been driving dangerously before the accident. He later told reporters that the Mercedes had been fishtailing, indicating that the driver was not in control of the vehicle. Elsewhere, Martinez echoed these sentiments to French police. He said, Henri Paul was going much too fast. Maybe he swerved to avoid a vehicle that was traveling very slowly in front of him. Then he lost control of the car. According to Jean-Louis Pelletier, who represented Fabrice Chassery, the case against the photographer stemmed from Diana's high profile. He called it a very ordinary case, and suggested that the reaction would not have been the same if Diana was not the victim. Still, Phil Hall, former editor of the News of the World, suggested that the actions of the paparazzi also played a role in Diana's death. In a 2007 interview, he said, I felt huge responsibility for what happened, and I think everyone in the media did. But my view is that if the paparazzi hadn't been following her, the car wouldn't have been speeding. And, you know, the accident may never have happened. In the aftermath of Princess Diana's death, the public perception of the paparazzi turned sour. Not only did paparazzi-friendly tabloids like The Mirror and The Sun face significant dips in their sales, but a 1997 Gallup poll found that the UK public deemed the paparazzi more responsible for Diana's death than Henri Paul. Viscount Rothamir, chairman of the Daily Mail and General Trust at the time of Diana's demise, banned paparazzi photos from the publication. In a statement, he said, I am and always have been an admirer of Diana, Princess of Wales, and nagged my editors to protect her so far as they could against powerful enemies.